this is the demonstration of how to set up and use the Depistio Vision Screener. Hi, my name is Paul Crows and I'm with Levitt Safety. And I, what I want to show you is how to use the Depistio Vision Screener for the uh, MTO. So I take out the, uh, the handheld controller. I take out the AC power adapter. And I take out the Depistio Vision Screener. I'll set that away. So the easiest way to plug this in now is to tip this over on its backside just by pulling back on the handle <clears throat> and that exposes the, uh, the connectors at the back. Now we have to bring um, a power to the uh, vision screener as well as the uh, uh, remote control cable. So the AC power adapter will feed in from underneath to the front and it plugs into the AC plug and the controller uses a, uh, a telephone style jack also feeds in underneath and plugs into the uh, back as well. So now you've got your connections made. We can flip this forward again, pull the cables back out of the way. You'll notice that there are two sets of uh, lenses here. The upper lenses are the ones that we'll be using. They'll be for long distance or what you use normally for driving. The bottom lenses we won't use, those are for near vision. We also have a removable forehead piece that's very easy to clean between subjects that fits there. So when I plug this in, you'll hear the uh, Depistio Vision Screener start up. So now there's power to the controller and it says MTO OK. And if you press OK, we're ready to begin our vision test. Jonathan, if you would have a seat here, and look into the vision screener. I'd like you to have both eyes open and look into the device. Now, just back up for a second. You notice Jonathan wears glasses, so if the, the person being tested normally wears glasses, this is the way you should do the test. If they normally wear contacts, then the contacts should be in place. If they wear bifocals like I do, then wear the bifocals, but look through the long vision side of the bifocal. So again, Jonathan, both eyes open and just put your head into the, the device and uh, look through the top set of lenses with both eyes open. And I'm going to uh, press the right arrow key and select the binocular vision choice. So what he'll see inside now is a regular Snell and eye chart. So it'll have 10 lines of, uh, of letters on it and he'll be have to read whichever line that he can see most clearly. You'll be comparing that against your standard and scoring his ability to read those levels. So once he passes whatever level he, he achieves, that's recorded and becomes part of the test. The next step that we have to go through is the peripheral screening test. So again, by pressing the, the right button, we'll move to the uh, peripheral devices. And the peripheral screening allows us to do both horizontal and vertical uh, peripheral screening. So peripheral field, I'm going to select OK to initiate that sequence. And you're going to see on the display this face with a number of lights on it. And by pressing the right arrow key, I'll advance the lights in different positions. Meanwhile, Jonathan is looking in here. He sees a white dot in the center. And either on his left side or his right, he'll see a flashing green light. So Jonathan, do you see a flashing green light? Yes. Right or left? Left. Do you see the same one or different one? Uh, no, it's a different one. It's on the left. On the left? And now? Left? So you will advance through all of these peripheral lights. They're little green lights that appear in the side of his vision. And again, you use that to score his full range of peripheral, peripheral vision. So once this is completed, the, the binocular test, both eyes open, and the peripheral screening test, both eyes open, you've completed the, the basic vision screen for GM and novice class licenses. If you have to do controlled class licenses, there are two additional tests that you choose. And again, by using the, the right arrow button, you will come to the screen that says vision, and you're going to measure his vision in his right eye. And again, 10 lines of uh, letters. Each one of those, he has to be able to tell which side of letters he can read the lowest value of. 
with that information is scored, we press the right arrow, then it's the left side that is being uh, screened, and as a, again, score how good that, uh, that vision is. And once those are scored, then you've actually completed the control class uh, section as well too. So it's a matter of choosing the right and left buttons and pressing OK, and then skip coming into the, the next test. And that's all there is to it.